Yo, what's good guys? Sully Breaks here. And I have a little bit of spoken word for you guys. But prior to that, I just want to talk about what actually inspired it. It's part of a project I've been working on called Wellversed. What initially drew me to the project was that the fact that they were using spoken word and poetry to promote a message. And those of you who know me, you know that's what I'm all about. Wellversed is basically about discussing negative issues online, which is something I could entirely relate to because when I first started on YouTube a few years back, I was slightly naive and I did something which none of you should do and I put my phone number on the internet and I received some not too pleasant calls and messages as a product of that and I really would have benefited for some advice telling me that that's not the wisest move to make when you're using the internet or, or on a platform such as YouTube. I guess the reason Wellversed is so relevant to you guys is because it gives people the opportunity to give their own piece of advice using spoken word and poetry and be creative with it and I guess all of you guys are usually sending me your work and le asking me to look at your poetry and all your creative stuff so I guess it's a chance for you guys to get involved and get competitive with it on another level. I I actually gave my own piece of short advice which you can check out on the website www.wellverse.co.uk and it's actually a part of a longer piece which this campaign inspired me to write. Peace. My first piece of advice, watch the entire season one of the TV show Catfish because the internet is full of Oscar worthy actors and actress. You could be speaking to someone anywhere on the atlas. A friend of mine once told a girl that he had a king size bed when I was fully aware that he slept on the floor on a mattress. Because on the internet, Andy can turn into Agnes. Check out what systems turn into bankers. And even if you ignore all the hackers, let's consider all the factors. How many people would you really recognize from their profile pic? I mean, I've seen girls that look like Beyonce online, but resemble Lenny Henry in real life. And he or she is always who he or she says she is, which may never be who he or she really is. And online, you have to take everybody's word for truth, when in reality, who do you ever really do that to? And one announcement to the internet trolls because trust me you get a lot of those pretending they have views to discuss but really are just bored at home and want something to oppose but you know that arguing with someone online is like making faces at a blind person so next time you try writing attention seeking comments in my window be aware that I've already closed the curtain because the lol in a chat is not always a smile in the face I've seen people say LMAO but remain firmly seated in the same place. A couple females said to me, they'll be RB, but that was back in 2013. You see, it's easy to get caught up in the world of clicking through pages and flicking through status, but be aware that many of these faces are faceless and a lot of this reality is copy and pasted. So when it comes to it, I think the best advice would be to follow me on Twitter and subscribe to my channel because sometimes that is the safest. Peace.